Hi friendly friends, it's Deanna here today and today I got for you what I think is a very helpful tutorial. So hopefully you find it helpful. Do you ever have like tops that you either sewed up or you bought and now they're a little bit more snug than you would want them to be or you just feel like you know what I just wish that this was a, had a little bit more flair or was a little bit you know the sides went out a little bit or anything like that well I have some of those tops like this top right here I love it and I love the fit but it's just so plain and it is kind of you know more snug and I wish it was a little bit looser so I'm going to show you I'm going to use this top and I'm going to show you how you can add some fabric to make the top a little bit looser especially if it's really tight and you want to add uh, some something to to make it looser I guess is the the, the word <laughs> and I'm going to be using this beautiful fabric uh, to kind of contrast and bring a little bit of contrast in the shirt I think it's gonna be super fun so let's do it all right so here's my top the top I want to change and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my side seams and I'm going to seam rip my side seams I am seam ripping pretty much all the way up to where the armpit is and I am doing that by pulling out the um, the thread on not the loopers but pulling out the just the straight thread left and right needle and that usually makes it really easy to do but with dark fabric it's always so hard to find the thread easily. Once we've opened up the side seams, we need to figure out how wide you want to make this cut. Now, um, before, well, you could try it on before you open the side seams and figure out, you know, I want it to, I want to have like a lot of room or really, um, you can measure around your waist and see how much more room you would like on there. Or you just say, you know, I just want a little peekaboo. Whatever you want to do, that is up to you. This this is when you will take your own measurements and figure out what you really want. So let's say I want the bottom to be, I was thinking about um, six inches is what I was thinking. So let me bring this in. So if I'm going to end up being six inches here, you can go ahead and grab a either a, pa a piece of paper or something to make a pattern piece. Um, sometimes I like to just do it right on the on the fabric but let's let's make a pattern piece all right so i have a piece of paper this is gift wrap paper that i have left over and i'm going to measure from the top all the way to the edge of my shirt how long this side seam is obviously this ruler is not big enough all right so we start at the top and measure all the way down And that is 15 inches for me. So it's 15 inches down. So we're gonna start at the top. Now we're gonna draw this out. It's so easy. It's like a, you're just making like a wedge of cheese. All right, so we start. Here's 15 at the bottom. And I'm gonna finish at the one. This ruler is a little bit funky, so this is a half an inch that's wasted because it starts right here at the inch, just in case that's confusing you. Sometimes it confuses me too. And the width, I want it, let's just put it right here in the middle. There's some lines on my paper. The width, I want it to be six inches, so I'm going to go three inches this way, one, two, three, and then three inches this way, one, two, three. My good thing is my pattern, my uh, paper has some lines on it if you can see so that makes it much easier so I'm gonna go from that point to the down to the one point and then again from that point down to the next point and now that gives me six inches on each side I mean three inches on each side now I'm gonna cut this piece out but about sewing you're gonna have to have some seam allowance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut about a half an inch out from the seam allowance because I wanna keep those six inches. So I'm adding the seam allowance already as I'm cutting it out. 
you can add however much seam allowance you, you want to add. All right, so my seam allowance is added and my pattern piece is cut out. So now what we do is we're going to go ahead and cut our fabric out with this pattern piece. And obviously I need two because I'm doing both sides. All right, so here's my top side opened up, right side up. We're gonna grab my piece that I'm going to stitch right on top and I'm gonna place it. I'm gonna start at one side, right sides together. This piece up here is just gonna kinda hang out up top uh, because we're gonna sew that on underneath, kind of like sew it on. So we're gonna clip everything one side, right sides together. And then we're gonna turn this over and we're gonna go to the other side. We're gonna bring this side, right side on top. So on the back, if you see this piece, the fabric will be hanging to the back. Right here at the top. And then um, it's kind of over, going over to the other side. So this, let's clip this together, right sides together. Then I'll show you up there again in a minute. This is the other side. Okay, so right here at the at the corner where it all ends, this little peak is gonna be peeking out on the back. So you're not you're gonna sandwich it there, but it's going to be coming out the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start about an inch down from where the seam is, the armpit seam, and I'm gonna go up, sewing these two together, the, two, the new fabric and the old fabric, and then I'm going to stop here at the seam and turn the other way and sew down about an inch. Then the rest of the sides, you can keep going with a stretch stitch on your sewing machine or you can do with a serger. So let's do that. All right, so I'm starting about an inch away from the edge and I'm facing these two fabrics right sides together and I'm going up an inch. Then when I get to the top, I'm gonna pick up my stitch and turn. Remember to move the fabric over to the other side because now you're just sewing on the other side. And if you look at it from the other side, that corner has been sewn right there. You see that? So now you just need to finish sewing. This little peak gets cut off later. You just need to sew the two sides down. All right, so there is that side finished and that is what it looks like on the side. Now I haven't done the other side yet, but look at how good that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. we are done and look how good that looks I love it gives it a little bit more swing it gives it like a little bit of an accent I think it turned out so well and it was like a super quick thing to do like it did not take very long and that just gives it a little bit of extra um, cuteness or whatnot I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'm just I like to come on here and show you little things like this so you know how easy it is to alter your clothes or change things about them um, yourself so you can create the wardrobe that you want to create. Now I'm gonna go play with Bo and you subscribe so you never miss any of our sewing tutorials and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bo can you say bye? Bye! <laughs> bye!